Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Eve, the creative curator, and I talk about, teach, share all sorts of information related to designing, pattern making, and sewing your own clothes slash fashion, depending if you're coming at it from a home sewer or a fashion student or a new fashion designer kind of angle. Um, I'm a trained fashion designer and creative pattern cutter, and I teach people online around the world how to design and make their own clothes. Ooh. <laughs> So today I really wanted to talk to you about the tools I cannot live without. So I know I've got a few um, blog posts on my website and I'll link them down below in the description in case you haven't seen them. But I've got a few posts where I talk about the different tools for different purposes. So I've got one about different cutting tools, um, for cutting fabric, paper, that kind of thing. I have another one about different measuring tools in sewing, so the various tools that you need to measure things. Um, and I actually have just remembered I've forgotten to add something to my pile. I'm going to do it now. So it's gone from seven things that I can't live without, seven tools I can't live without, to eight. So, first of all, of course, it's my tape measure, which is the one I just forgot. It's because I can see I've got like a stash of tape measures across like a meter from me hanging on the wall. Um, obviously, as a pattern maker and designer, I can't do without a tape measure because I use it for everything, um, including entertaining my cat. If I pop it around my neck and I lean over, then she has great fun trying to catch it, um, which is quite often a game that we end up playing without realizing. Second of all, um, I'm going to go from like top priority down to least priority, I guess, um, just because it makes more sense. Second of all is my pattern master. Um, this is a hard plastic, as you can see. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it doesn't bend. It does snap if you sit on it. As I can show evidence of. Um, so I have a, a mini pot. There are also such things as mini pattern masters. Um, which isn't really a mint. It's by the same company, More Plan in the UK, and I actually have a um, discount code that I could send to you or leave. I'll leave, link it below basically. But if you're looking for a code that will get you a discount with More Plan, which is a British company in the UK, they're based in London. Well, main their main shop that I always go to is in London, but they have an online store too. Um, so this is their miniature version, like quarter and fifth, one fifth and one quarter scale. This is their full-size version, which I love. It's actually by Chauvin, um, but it's stocked with more plan. Um, and here's the broken one that I had earlier. I can't live without this. Um, I'll do an actual um, post and video on pa using a pattern master, but you have your straight edge, you have your, um, like, your, I can't think of the word, <laughs> your 90 degree angle so that you can like square off. You have a bias line, which is a 45 degree angle. You've got various curves. Um, which are great for like if you're doing like underarm hip curve that kind of thing and of course you have the different um so 0.5 on one centimeter 0.5 centimeter on one centimeter for seam allowance and then you have up to six centimeters on the straight edge they also do an inches version i believe um but i'm a metric girl so this is like this goes everywhere with me even when i'm going back to the uk it goes in my backpack with my computer and my ipad and stuff because i can't be without it i love it so much i should have more than one <laughs> in case i sit on it again Next on the list, and you'll have seen me talking about this, and I have a blog post about the, these tracing wheels. So I have different versions. I think I have a, another version as well. I do. I knew I had three. So this is my original one. Um, can you see that? Really spiky. Ow! <laughs> this one I had when I was at um, university studying fashion design. So that's going back quite a few years now. Um, still going well, I love it to pieces. It's got a lovely plastic. I say lovely because plastic isn't lovely, but it's got like a nice little ridge. It's really fitted to my hands. Um, it, you, your hand cups at your palm here. It's really, really good. I've got a blog post about the different types of tracing wheels. I'll link that one in the description too. This one you can see is more of a serrated. Let me put it on my forehead and you'll see it better, it'll focus. Um, and it's got a flatter finger section. Again, not my favourite. I don't really use that one. And another spiky one. This one I had, um, ow! It was in a twin pack with this one, which I ordered last spring when I was stuck in the UK during the pandemic with my parents. Um, and I needed a tracing wheel. And I obviously couldn't take one of these on the airplane. So I had to order one when I got to the UK. Um, yeah. So 
I use these for everything. I use them when I'm pattern drafting and I need to true different sections. I use them if I'm cloning something, um, maybe like a shirt or something or a pair of jeans and I'm creating a pattern for it. I'll use these. You could also use them with like carbon paper if you wanted to mark your fabric that way. But I have a whole blog post on using these, um, which I'll link in the description. <laughs> so where are we at? We're at tape measure, pattern master, tracing wheel. So that's three. My fourth can't live without tool. Ooh, which one would it be? My special dedicated pattern scissors. These are a different kind of, so these are for cutting paper only. Again, these are from More Plan, and I've had these for years and years and years. This piece of fabric with my name on is from when I was at university. <laughs> That's how long they've lasted me. Um, I take really good care of them and they, they last for a lifetime. But this is from when I was at university because we had to like label our stuff to make sure no one stole it. And they have a short blade. Can you see that? <laughs> really long handles and a very short blade and um, they're very comfortable they're very heavy but comfortable and the thing about the blade is it's really good for getting around like tight curves um and you just get a really neat finish on your paper patterns and because I love like I'm passionate about pattern making you might have seen I already did a video about the difference between pattern making pattern cutting dra draping drafting and contouring I'll link it over there or there <laughs> um but yeah, I'm passionate about it and I like my patterns to be accurate. I'm a stickler for that. And so these normally go everywhere apart from on airplanes, unless they're going in the hold. So that's one, two, three, four, five, fifth on my list. Oh, which would be next? Actually, we might have eight. What have we got? We've got a tape measure, pattern master, tracing wheel, pat pa pattern paper scissors. Yeah, we've got eight things, sorry. Next would probably be my French curve. It's a very form of French curve or curve form by Fairgate and I love the I mean I do a lot of freehand line marking when I'm making my patterns but sometimes when you're going for a curve sometimes your curve just isn't quite right and this one will do it it's centimeters only on this one I think maybe you can get inches I'll have a look online and link it if so um it's made in the USA and I love it it's really light it makes a great like weapon if you're trying not to if you need to protect yourself at night and you don't want the cat to come in and disturb you it's great um it's very light i've actually traveled with this one as well they do let me on airplanes with this one um but it does stick out my backpack kind of funny next so i think we're up to five number six is an awl technically i could get away and just use a pin um it's the sharp point that i'm after and a pin will do that but a pin is fiddly I had to use a push pin in the UK because I didn't have one of these and couldn't take it on an airplane. Um, but I, I love this because it's just, if I've got my, I've got my um, cutting mat on the table in front of me and I can, if I've got patterns and I'm pivoting um, like dark manipulation techniques, I've got a post on that, I'll link it below. I kind of like wedge this into the paper, leaves a bit of a hole in my cutting mat, but hey ho. And then I can pivot it really nicely and I know that it's going to stay. Um, Whereas with a pin, because it's thinner and a bit more fiddly, it quite often will like move. So an awl is a really good tool that I can't live without. And then my pattern notches, I love these. Again, I've had them since uni. See a little bit of fabric ever since I went to fashion school. I, when I, I did a, a thing when I was younger and going to fashion school where I was like, well, cause I went as like a mature student, I was over 20. And so, um, I was like, well, I'm going to invest in the good stuff because I know it's going to last me a lifetime. I've never had to buy another pair of pattern notches ever. And I just, I don't know if you'll see this. Can you see that bit of paper fall off? Boop. <laughs> and look, it will notch your pattern. Um, is it essential? No, you could snip it with your paper scissors, but it just makes it so much easier. You only use it with paper or card, not on fabric, obs. Um, you would snip your fabric, my cat's going for it again, but these again travel everywhere with me, love them to pieces, use them all the time, we'll link them in the description below. And then finally, so that was number seven, number eight, and this isn't really an essential tool, but I find if I'm ever taking, if I'm ever doing like fittings with other people, and like, because obviously I'm a freelancer as well as being a designer, so I'll do like, I'll create blocks of my clients and trying to get around the crotch, or it can be a bit tricky. You know, you're going in there with a the tape. It's not always accurate. But if you've got one of these, you can literally, I'll show you, I'll stand up and show you. Um, you'll have to excuse me. 
Um, I'm not sure which way to go because I've got my sewing machine off. Oh, my room is really tiny. If we go that way. Oh, you're not going to be able to see because I'm standing up too much. Basically, you would put it... Let me see if I can lower the camera. <laughs> this is something I didn't think I'd be doing in the video. Oop! So you put it under your bum, under your crotch, like this. Can you see? And you would literally shape it to like from your front to your back and then oh my bum's grown <laughs> i knew it had lockdown hello too much chocolate uh, too many homemade cakes also but i might not have done it quite as accurately as i should have but basically i would then put this on the so this would be like your proper like right in the center of your front and your back um that your actual crotch and that's where your inner leg inseam inseam <laughs> yeah um and you can just trace this line off and get a really kind of like accurate back and front rise for your trouser patterns or pants patterns whatever you call them so i love that i find it genius um and there you have it my eight can't live without pattern making tools let me know if you would like to know what my five can't live without sewing tools are or fashion design tools or fashion illustration tools i've got a whole bunch of stuff um that i use on a day-to-day -day basis um yeah so i hope that was a little bit interesting for you and um, if you've got any questions about any of those eight tools let me know i'm going to link everything up in the description below so you can like go poke around my website have a look have a read of different things and you know start building your own kit let me know if you enjoyed this video like it because if you like it i know that you've seen it and if you leave a comment then i get to know who you are and i can chat back with you subscribe if you haven't already i talk about designing making sewing your own clothes patterns that kind of thing um yeah and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye